homeschool moms, in this video we're going to be talking about phonics and spelling and teaching our kids to read. Oh my! This is one of the things that I hear most from homeschool moms about their greatest fear is not being able to teach their kids to read or to spell well, especially a lot of you who are starting homeschooling off in the early years with your kids and they haven't learned. Nobody else has taught them to read or to spell. It's all on you and you're so afraid of failing. I want to encourage you. You can teach your kids to read and spell and you can do it successfully. You just need the right resources and you need the right approach. So I'm going to share some curriculum at the end of this video, my three favorite for teaching phonics and spelling and reading. But before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about phonics and spelling and reading. So after doing my own research over 16 years of homeschooling and also getting a college degree uh, that had an education and child development focus, I have come to believe that the Orton-Gillingham approach to phonics and spelling and reading is the best method and the best way to teaching our children to spell and to be good readers. Now, I'm not going to go into exactly what the Orton-Gillingham approach is because there are so many great uh, resources online that help explain it way better than I ever could. I will leave those linked down below so you can go do your research and see if you think it might be the best method for teaching your kids to read as well. But one of the things I love about the Orton-Gillingham approach is that, one, it makes sense of the English language. How many of us grew up thinking that English made absolutely no sense, that the rules just seemed to be so random and there were so many exceptions. So I love this Orton-Gillingham approach because it makes sense of the English language. It also is very multi-sensory. And so with this approach, your kids are going to be learning how to read and how to spell through a multi-sensory approach, hearing it, seeing it, writing it, and that really helps to build better connections in the brain. The other thing I like about it is it's very systematic. The rules and uh, teaching the rules and the sounds of the letters and the combinations of the letters, um, what sounds they make, it's very systematic. So I really think this is the best approach to teaching our kids phonics and spelling and reading. And like I said, there are three um, curriculums out there, homeschool curriculums that I think do an excellent job of doing this. And I will share those at the end of this video. One of the things though that I wanna share is a mistake that I made early on when I was teaching my oldest to um, read and to spell. And that was that I just jumped in and started teaching the spelling rules and um, kind of how to, you know, decode a word and be able to read it. I jumped in right there and I forgot a very crucial step and that was phonemic awareness. Now, phonemic awareness is really helping the child to understand the different components of a word. And so I'm gonna explain this by giving you some different examples of how you might do this. For example, here's the first one, having a child um, break up a word into syllables. So for example, you have the child say cat and you clap out cat, cat, that's one syllable. Then you have them do the word elephant, elephant, three syllables. You're helping them to understand the word better and break it up into its syllables or smaller chunks. Another phonemic awareness skill would be um, being able to break up a word into its sounds. For example, cat would be k -at. Uh, throw would be th-r-o. Now your child doesn't know that that O is being uh, represented by an O and a W in the word. They probably might not even know what an O or a W is. Maybe they haven't even learned all of the letters and their sounds. And they certainly haven't learned the letter combinations called phonograms and the sounds that they make. But they are being able to break up the word into smaller chunks, which is eventually going to be very helpful when they learn to spell. Because then when you say the word throw, they can go it's th-r-o, and they can think, oh, what says th? Oh, that's th. And they can write that. Oh, what says o? Oh? Well, there are several phonograms that could say o. Oh. Let me think through some of the rules and which one would fit best at the end of the word. But if your child hasn't quite learned how to sound out the different um, 
sounds of a word, they're gonna have a really hard time with spelling and also with reading. And now a reverse activity for this would be you saying a word broken up into its sounds and having your child guess the word. So for example, I might say, um, I might say d a g and they need to say dog. One more example that I wanted to give you is having children recognize the sound that they hear at the beginning and end of a word. So let's say that you give the, your child the word um, bat. You want them to then be able to identify the sound that they hear at the beginning of the word b and the sound that they hear at the end of the word and so these are just phonemic awareness skills that our children need as a solid foundation to then be able to build on that and learn to read and to learn to spell successfully. If you're feeling overwhelmed though, going, I don't know how to teach that to my kids, I've got some resources for you, some curriculum that can help. So all three of these curriculums I have used all of them I highly recommend. They all have pros and cons to them, and so I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail about the pros and cons of each one. I'm just gonna share with you what they are and um, talk a little bit about how they help with phonemic awareness, but they all are great for teaching reading and spelling. So you could use any of these um, programs to teach your kids to read and to spell. But I wanna specifically address that foundational skill of phonemic awareness that you would do in the early years, so preschool and kindergarten. So the first one is the one that I have been using for so many, many years, and that is the Spell to Write and Read program. And in the Spell to Write and Read program, they have a page in here on phonemic awareness and helping your kids to build um, good phonemic awareness skills before then they jump in to the actual Spell to Write and Read program. And so if you have this curriculum, if you're thinking about using it, know that before you even start off with it in kindergarten, you can get it and go check out that page on phonemic awareness skills and use those ideas and implement them in your home to help give your kids a solid foundation in phonemic awareness um, skills so that they will then be able to spell and to read uh, a lot better. All right, the second one that I wanna share with you is the Logic of English. The Logic of English has two levels and in their foundations, this is the one that would have the phonemic awareness skills um, in there. And while they do have phonemic awareness skills, there aren't as many as um, examples is in the Spell to Write and Read program and the next one that I'm gonna be showing you. But this is an excellent curriculum for teaching your kids to read, teaching your kids to spell, and it does have phonemic awareness um, incorporated into the foundations level. The last one that I wanna share with you is the one that I think has the best um, activities and resources for helping families teach phonemic awareness skills, and that is the All About Reading, um, their pre-reading level. This uh, curriculum in the pre-reading level, that's basically what it is. It's teaching our kids the letters, the letter sounds, and giving them phonemic awareness activities to do. And so this one, I would say, probably ha is the most open and go and easiest one to use to teach maybe preschool age, how to incorporate phonemic awareness um, or how to incorporate phonemic awareness activities into your child's um, education and what they're learning. Now again, all three of these teach phonemic awareness and all three of these are excellent for teaching spelling and reading at any level. So if you don't have a child that um, is in preschool, then you could easily use um, still use the All About Reading, their other levels. Uh, they also have All About Spelling. You could use the um, Logic of English, their foundations, or the next level, which is Essentials. Again, teaches reading and spelling. Spell to write and read teaches spelling and reading. So one thing I will say um, about kind of the difference between these curriculum is that these two are one that incorporate teaching reading and spelling all together. Um, the uh, All About Reading, and then they have All About Spelling. You would have to purchase All About Spelling, 
and All About Reading to get the reading and the spelling component. Again, do your research, figure out which one is going to be best for your family and for your unique child and for you know what you can implement in your home, but all three are excellent in teaching our kids how to be good spellers, how to be good readers. But I encourage you, even if you have older kids, if they are struggling in reading and spelling, perhaps they didn't get a good foundation in phonemic awareness skills. And so it's okay to take some of the activities, the examples that I gave you, and to go back with an older child and help walk through some of these phonemic awareness activities with them. And that's actually something that I did with a child who was really struggling. I was able to use just some of these activities in um, Spell to Write and Read and all about reading the pre-reading level and just include them in kind of like, can you help your little brother with this and help him as he's learning? And I saw some gaps in that older child and we were able to fill those in and then continue on with great success in reading and spelling. So I hope this was encouraging to you. I hope it was helpful to you. And I hope most importantly, it helped you as homeschool moms realize that you can teach your kids to spell and read and you can do it successfully. You just need the right tools. So check out all the links I have down below about the Orton Gillingham method. Also, all three of these curriculums will be linked down below as well. Comments, questions, Leave them down below in the comments section. Again, hope it was helpful to you and I will see you in another video.